Hello, Brenton with All of Octane here. In this video, I am going to be opening one Kyle Busch car. I'm going to be showcasing some of these NASCAR uh, 75th anniversary authentics, as well as showcasing a chase model and opening. I'm going to open up the hauler because you can easily put these haulers kind of back. Uh, they did secure the haulers now, so they kind of do put some tape on the sides of these things. So it is a little more uh, of a deterrent, I guess, but I mean, I've seen so many of these things stolen. I've seen so many things stolen. It's so sad. Don't don't steal. Um, I've seen a lot of die casts stolen. But here we go. We're going to go ahead and open up the NASCAR 75th anniversary hauler. Um, they do have less kind of plastic than they used to. They used to kind of have like this sleeve that fit over the whole thing. Now they have less of that. And I think now you can kind of just... Um, I know you can still open these things. There we go. Pretty easily. All right, I'll just slide it out that way. There we go. So there is the trailer from the beach 1948 to the track 19 or wow, 2023 75th anniversary. It's got some donuts on the side here from the Goodyear tires. And I believe, yeah, it's got a Camaro up there on this, on the, on this side. I think they've got a Camaro on the other side too. This is such a cool hauler though. It really is. Yep. Camaro on this side as well. Basically the same thing. They just have less donuts. Uh, they have just smoke on this side. And check out those wheels though. Some nice chrome wheels. They've definitely upped their game on the, uh, the hauler side of things. I think they don't always, they didn't always used to have wheels like this. They're a little bit more solid with some solid axles. Have like a little bit of suspension travel, which is kind of a nice thing. Um, and then the, the hook side. Now you can't really see in there, but it does go all the way back through. You can definitely fit cars in there. And they've got um, the Camaro again on the back and then the NASCAR 75th anniversary. Yeah, this thing is really cool. So let's go ahead and look at the cab. And they've definitely outfitted it with some really cool wheels as well. These ones have more grip, I feel like, than the old ones. A little more realistic. Check that out. 75th anniversary. It's a Freightliner. I don't know if they actually say that anywhere. It's got Lionel Racing on the bottom. I don't think, yeah, I don't think they have it anywhere, but it is a, definitely a Freightliner for sure. Check that out. That's really cool. I'll probably, like I said, I'll probably put this back in the package because I don't have any place to store this at the moment or like, I'm sorry, I don't have any place to display it at the moment um, where I live in the apartment, but it's really cool. So I'm just going to put that here for the moment. I'm going to showcase these. I'm not going to actually open these because I have the test cars as well and I didn't open those up. Um, mostly just simply because they're great to display. It's easier to display them in the package. Um, and when I was, when I had my office, I was able to display those. So it was a little easier. Um, so someday when I get a space to display, I will do so. You can tell which set this was part of. It was 2023 wave six. And you can see which cars were part of that wave. It had the Toyota, it had the Camaro and it had the Ford. So, and then if you found the liquid chrome color for the Daniel Suarez car, you would have found the chase model. I didn't find that one. I found a liquid chase or a liquid chrome of this one. And it's kind of hard to see in this light, but I will put on the screen. So I'll do that right now. I'll put on the screen a side by side. It's kind of hard to tell um, again with this light that this one has like a darker color to it, but hopefully the photo shows that, um, that there's a difference. I found the mainline one. I didn't buy it, but I found the mainline one and then I found this chase one. And if I bring it up a little closer, that is the spectra flame part. So you can tell it's not as bright. It's got a little bit more of a, a hue to it, but King's Hawaiian, mm, delicious. That's making me hungry. But yeah, it's the Brad Keselowski six car, the Ford Mustang. But again, we'll go back over to the Camry with the 75th logo on it. And these guys weren't around all that long. I think they came around to like 2007-ish. I know Joe Gibbs started with them with the Camrys. 
and they've had a Camry in here ever since. It'd be nice to see the cup cars go to a Supra, but I doubt it. Be cool though. Although the uh, Camry got redesigned, so I'm really curious in diecast when that's gonna take place. Same with the Mustang. The Mustang got redesigned for 2024. So we will probably not see the redesigned front ends of the Camry and the Mustang until mm, probably 2025 would be my guess or the end of 2024 because i have imagined i would imagine lionel has the die cast lineups already set for months so but this thing is really cool check out the back end there i love the triple tail lights i own a mustang so i yeah my, it's my wife's dream car and they're awesome they really did well with the blue in this one because obviously Ford blue. So they chose to put the blue in that one. So the Camry was yellow. And then last up is the Camaro. Now this is going to be interesting in NASCAR for 2024 as well because the Camaro is gone. They don't offer that in real life anymore. And it's the only one that didn't get a body change. So I'm curious to know. I have a feeling that Chevy dominance will be very, very high this year. I think uh, Trackhouse, Hendrick, and uh, RCR are going to be some strong, strong cars this year because they didn't have to have any modifications. If the modifications done to the Camry and the modifications done to the Ford Mustang Dark Horse, if those are good modifications, then you'll definitely see Penske and uh, RFK strong out of the gate, I have no doubt. JGR will be a total toss up as well as legacy because they, they have the new Camry. And if that doesn't do well, they might not do well, but if it does do well, then they'll do fantastic. So it's going to be interesting, but I think the most stable bets, uh, next year are going to be on the Chevys, especially for like the first few races. But there we have it. There's the Camaro in yellow. Look at that massive rear spoiler. That thing is huge. I guess they all do have that. All right, and then last up is the Kyle Busch 2023 Cheddar's Scratch Kitchen car. And I'm going to open this up because I open up Kyle Busch cars and you guys come here for an opening. Again, I was able to find that because it was part of this uh, 2023 Wave 8 and that was the Brad Keselowski look for the King's Hawaiian Rolls chase piece. I found one. They don't really say it on there. So some of the chase pieces have like liquid chrome on them. Some don't. This one doesn't. It was a hard one to find. So that was kind of cool. I'm not going to open up the chrome just simply because it's technically the second one I found. I, I found a Chase Elliott one a number of years ago. I do like the sticker. And if you follow NASCAR, you will know that Cheddar Scratch Kitchen did renew their sponsorship. So he was going to have this on his car for a number of 2024 races. Wow, that fender, that rear fender is junk. Is that really how they are? That's so inlaid. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Is that how it's supposed to be? I don't know if I've opened any of the new Camaros. I feel like I have. I've opened the... Um, the other two that he had, the Lenovo. I just don't remember it being that wonky. That's a that's a huge offset. Huge offset. But there we go. There's Cheddar Scratch Kitchen, number eight. Kyle Bush, Kyle Rowdy Bush running the eight car for RCR. Love the wheels. It's got the ground effects. Wow, I'm gonna check the Camaro over here. Wait, here's the Camaro. Is that wide too? I guess it is. Wow, that's crazy. All right, cool. Well, there you have it. There are some NASCAR Lionel Authentics I was able to find on the pegs. I got a chase piece, the 75th anniversary. I got the 75th anniversary hauler, and I have the Kyle Busch car. So there we have it. Let me know which NASCAR driver is your favorite. Are you looking forward to the 2024 NASCAR season? Let me know in the comments below and until the next one, have a good one.